question is from environment and its climate action tracker as an organization but uh, what is there you know it was in news for different regions but uh, if you see various options given in this question you can easily eliminate because uh, you know climate action tracker is neither a wing nor a committee nor a agency but actually if you see this climate action tracker uh, it is an independent scientific analysis and that tracks the government's climate action and measures uh, globally agreed paris climate agreement to keep the warming within 2 degree celsius in comparison with pre industrial revolution and going all out to limit the warming to 1.5 degree celsius and basically this climate action tracker uh, is Uh, a database which has been created by coalition of two very important research organization one is climate analytics and second is new climate institute and since 2009 it is you know into this uh, job so the answer for question number 1 is a alpha database created by coalition coming to question number 2 again it is a question related with environment only and uh, if i have to tell you ep 100 again it was in news for many reason okay so basically what i would just like to tell you that this climate group is an international non profit organization which was founded in 2003 and it has come up with this idea of ep 100 ep 100 basically uh, this this climate group has estimated that if top 100 companies in the world if they will increase their you know energy productivity then you know significant amount of emission can be prevented okay so if we if we go by this very easily you can find the answer to be b bombay i'll take up question number 3 Uh, it is uh, uh, from geography related to environment and uh, uh, wetland issues so it says if rain forests and tropical forests are the lungs of the earth the wetlands are the kidneys so the answer for this i think is pretty straight forward the aquatic plants the mangrove forests the estuaries they have the ability of absorbing pollutants and heavy metals like cadmium arsenic and the rest and they also are responsible for Uh, neutralizing the effects of eutrophication so i think it's a very straight question uh, three answer is d uh, delta so now we will move to question number 4 okay and uh, in question number 4 there are four statements given related with who air quality guidelines these guidelines were published after a gap of 15 years in 2021 and probably that could be the reason why they have asked this question but some conceptual statements are also there okay so there are four statements and we have to find the correct ones so the first statement says that 24 hour mean of particulate matter 2.5 should not exceed you know 15 and annual mean of particulate matter 2.5 should not exceed you know 5 uh, uh, 5 okay so as far as this statement 1 is concerned it's correct uh, in statement 2 in a year the highest level of ozone pollution occurs during the period of inclement you know weather now this statement is incorrect and some pollution such as ground level ozone is made more efficient in sunny and hot weather so statement 2 is you know incorrect statement 3 if you see says that the particulate matter can penetrate the lung barrier and enter the blood stream while we were solving you know there were some difference of opinion about the correctness of this statement but finally what we have concluded that particulate matter you know particulate matter can move deep up to lung but it cannot penetrate particulate matter 10 sorry can penetrate deep up to lung but it cannot you know uh, cross the lung barrier to enter into the blood stream and this is why we have uh, decided that this statement number 3 is wrong and the statement number 
that excessive ozone in the air can trigger asthma but uh, one thing ground ozone is bad ozone whereas ozone in the tropos uh, which is embedded in higher atmosphere is good ozone so it's talking about ground ozone which can trigger asthma four is correct so the answer for question number you know four is p beta where one and four are correct and two and three statements are wrong now we will move to question number five which is from science so question number five is with, with, with respect to uh, gucci sometimes mentioned in news is basically uh, a, a, a very costly a mushroom which is being developed or rather which is being uh, you know used in western uh, himalayas uh, himachal pradesh uh, uttarakhand even in uh, jammu and kashmir so because so uh, it's a mushroom it's a, it's a fungus it's uh, it's grown in some himalayan forest area so one and two are correct so answer should be c and it is not cultivated in the north eastern india it is in north western india so that is how uh, it is coming so uh, answer should be c so then question number 6 is with reference to uh, polyethylene uh, terephthalate okay and uh, question number 6 uh, the answer is a and 1 and 3 are correct and in fact uh, it, its fiber can be blended with wool and cotton fibers to reinforce their properties and uh, bottles made of it can be recycled into other products so these three are so in fact only two options are given we have to go for elimination here even though some of these containers can be used for storing alcoholic beverages also but we have no one and three are more appropriate so we don't have a third option to be added so that is why uh, we are going ahead with a 6 uh, is a that is one and three are correct other two can be eliminated in the process and question number 7 uh, it is about which of the following is not a bird this golden uh, musher is not a bird all other three are birds so we have a, a straight away uh, indian night jar spoonbill white ibis all are birds golden uh, you know golden musher is a fish so which is not a so answer is a which is not a bird 7 a is the answer then coming to uh, question number 8 uh, the answer is a again 1 3 and 4 are correct which of the following are nitrogen fixing plants so uh, alpha alpha is there chickpea is there clovers are there but others are you know like uh, uh, amaranth or uh, you know uh, kulfa spinach are there all nitrogen using they will be consuming but 1 3 and 4 are the most appropriate answer so answer should be a as far as this question nitrogen fixing plants are concerned then question number 9 that is in in this series that is bio rock technology which is the following it is about again answer is a it's about restoration of damaged coral reefs in fact by using some uh, electrolysis process and all we are trying to activate and speed up the process of formation of the corals that is what we are trying in bio rock technology so question number 9 Uh, here the restoration uh, a should be the answer similarly question number 10 uh, which is the uh, mayawaki method it's a japanese technology whereby how to develop gardens using or rather how to develop a mini forest in urban areas in where, where the space is very less when you have very little space a few square yards how to develop a uh, you know uh, multi uh, you know in a multi species as a mini forest to be created this is a japanese technology we are trying even in hyderabad and all so that is where uh, this uh, uh, miyawaki technology is being so answer should be c in this particular case very easy question uh, among the following crops which one is the most important anthropogenic source of both methane and nitrous oxide the answer is b rice i hope you know that during rice cultivation water logging in the field and you will find marshy area swampy area in which we are cultivating rice so that is one place from where methane will release and too much nitrogenous fertilizers are used you know for rice cultivation so even there is release of nitrous oxide so the answer is b bombay uh, question number 50 now wetland question is a recurring question almost in every year yes 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 okay in fact some of the videos we shared before the prelims we have discussed Uh, a sastam kota lake of tamil nadu so no, wetland no, 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 kerala no, 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 we have discussed that uh-huh. we have discussed that in some of the previous uh, okay. lectures yeah. but yes the answer answer in this uh, is 
द रेणुका लेक इन हिमाचल प्रदेश इज करेक्ट एंड रुद्र सागर लेक इन त्रिपुरा इज करेक्ट so only 2 and 3 is correct and not 1 and 4 yeah. but interestingly Mokera, the is in jammu and kashmir jammu kashmir yes and sastham kota holds a very special distinction of in keral yeah, yeah one of the lake in coastal part which is a fresh water lake yeah yes yes unlike vembanad and unlike ashtamudi which are uh, salt water lagoons yeah uh, sastham kota lake has fresh water yes so that's an important uh, fact thank you sir so the answer for this, but yes, this is another one of those question, new form of question, mm. where they ask in terms of one pair correct, two pairs, so this is something new for all of us. Anyways, <laughs> the answer is B here. Only two of them yeah. uh, is correct. Ah, it, it is very easy. That is why I want you to say. Okay. <laughs> B so is the answer. <laughs> B will be the answer. Acid rain, you know very well that when there is excessively high content of nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide, in the rain that makes the you know precipitation acidic with pH value 5.6 and below then it falls uh, in the category of acid rain so the answer for this would be uh, P2 and 4 nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide you can eliminate very easily carbon monoxide and ozone can be eliminated very easily mm. yeah so the answer will be P so if you eliminate 1 and 2 no. sorry, 1 and 3, ah, one answer and three. will be 2 and 4, yeah. Bombay. Yeah. So, Excess of which? Yeah. 69. Yeah, with reference to Indian laws about wildlife protection, consider the following statement. So, wildlife, uh, wild animals are sole property of the government. Now, this uh, statement is correct based on recent judgment given by Mumbai High Court. Okay, so. Uh, precisely this was the statement which was in the judgment so the first statement is correct second statement when a wild animal is declared product protected such animal is entitled for equal protection whether it is found in protected area or outside now first is correct second and third are also in some way correct but we have to choose the best answer so see when a wild animal is declared protected, such animal is entitled for equal protection whether it is found in protected area or outside. Uh, I was reading one article in Hindu where this statement is given that they ha are entitled for equal protection whether it is found in protected area or outside. However, if you go by logic, there is varying degree of protection even within protected area and definitely between protected area and outside area. But even then, we will consider this statement to be correct because this statement finds explicit mention in one of the articles published in the Hindu newspaper. So on that basis, we can judge it correct. In, okay. in fact, uh, Manish, in this question, one, two, three, all the three are correct is not there. Ah. So, even three is to some extent is correct because apprehension... Apprehension of a protected wild animal becoming a danger to human life is sufficient ground for its capture or killing. Okay, so... But again, but again, in this also, suppose a, a tiger is, a, you know, is a potential danger to human life, but if it is not killed anybody, uh, it is may not be sufficient alone, but generally, yes, it is. it can be captured or killing. Killing may not be there, but it definitely it will be captured if it is found outside. But that way, if you look, he is so also see, correct. Means if we give very liberal interpretation to what is mentioned in statement 2, then it appears to be wrong. And if we give liberal interpretation to 3, it appears to be correct. correct. But we have to go by, you know, A, 1 and 2. Based on the statement in Hindu article, we will consider a statement 2 correct. And we cannot give liberal interpretation to three because we don't have option with yeah. all three statements are correct. So yeah. answer from our side will be yes. A, 1 and 2. In fact, had there been 1, 2 and 3, we would have gone for 1, 2 and 3. Yes. Yeah, but unfortunately or fortunately, that is not there. So 1 and 2, A is the answer. So that is about 69. Question number 70. Uh, it is a straightforward question. Which organism is known as cultivator of fungi? And, in fact, so many articles, of course, we, you could not have been guessing this kind of a question. Uh, after seeing the question, if you search in the internet, you will find so many articles about that. So, A is the answer and is the answer here, which are known as cultivators of fungi. Question number 95, again a straightforward factual question. 
Environment Protection Act 1986 created Central Ground Water Authority. C yeah. is the answer. In, so, in, in Central Ground Water Authority Act, uh, means in this Act, Section 3, Sub Clause 3 talks about this, uh, you know, Central Ground Water Authority and its very important role to regulate and control development of and management of groundwater resources in the country. So, a straightforward question. If you know the provision of Environment Protection Act, then you can mark. Yeah. It's about green washing. And uh, as we know, again, is a straightforward answer, factual one. This term is used when we are creating false impression. A is the answer, conveying a false impression that companies' products are eco-friendly and environmentally sound. It is like many of our so programs. So, promotion of perception that organizations' products are eco-friendly. No, I, I would say, you know, this is like a, a coaching institutes claiming that all ranks are from our institute, you know. Finally, if you add all the ranks, put together the ranks claimed by the institute, at least 10,000 ranks are there in India. All, <laughs> or, or all questions are from all, our yes, notes. Yes, all, all questions are from our notes. All ranks are from the institute. So, I, you, know, institute, you just add the top 10 institutes, I think it will cross 3,000 or 4,000 ranks. Anyway, so 100, answer is A.